When I first learned that Carpenter's Home Church was to be demolished, I felt an overwhelming need to return one last time. To see if my memories had altered the height of the sanctuary, the color of the pews, the curve of the concourse. Moving through the rubble and debris, I began to grieve. I know full well that a church is the people and not the building, but for me, this place is a character in the story of my life, and I loved her because I could walk through these doors any day, any time, and feel safe and at home. That home now stands silent, in ruins, on the verge of destruction. The people who've made this place a church have moved on, but so many memories remain. Thank God for His Word. His Word is quick. Is I remember listening intently to a comforting voice, as kind and wise as any grandfather, as he taught God's Word every Sunday. I remember sitting in these pews next to people I love, family and friends, intimate and dear and precious beyond measure. I remember worship, Thousands of voices singing and praising, trumpets blaring from the balcony, cymbals and shofars, all creating a symphony that filled every corner of the cavernous sanctuary. There are ways I was formed here and ways I was unmade. There were questions about what church was meant to be that remain unanswered still. There was heartache, scandal, division, and abandonment because outside of Eden, nothing and no one is perfect. My church family least of all. Yet there was also hope and love and the spirit moved. I saw prayer, faith and sacrifice modeled. I witnessed miracles. Once she was bright, alive and overflowing with God's presence, praise and people and I thought she would always be that way. Now I know I was wrong. Perhaps these walls could no longer contain the work God had planned for us. Would we have stayed here if we could, content and complacent? The truth is, we live in a fallen world, and for now, decay is inevitable. My feet tread on soft, moldy ground where once this foundation was solid and strong. This building is like a forgotten elder, alone and abandoned, with thinning gray hair and more wrinkles than teeth, but so very near the end of her suffering, and all the more lovely for it. I love this building, but not for its grandeur or renown. I love this place for what I found here. When I felt like I couldn't breathe in my own house, I came here and I thrived. When I was searching for true friends, I found those who would stand by me for decades. And when I began to realize that the Bible was more than a collection of children's stories about rainbows, lion's dens, giants, whales, and a special baby born in a stable, this was where my first real experience of the Father took place. There will never be a day in my life that won't be touched by my time in this building. And even though I was powerless to save her, at least I could be with her at the end. <laughs>